This morning, a wake-up call for parents as more teens begin to explore artificial intelligence. Experts say what happened to a group of girls in Spain recently could happen anywhere. Spanish authorities say more than 30 girls ages 12 to 14 started receiving fake nude images of themselves. The images were created using an app powered by artificial intelligence that undresses people. Police say a group of teen boys had used photos from the girls' social media profiles uploaded them to the app and shared them on social media. So essentially, these apps virtually strip individuals, and that enables folks to distribute images of them in attempts maybe to sexually shame them, to humiliate them, or just because they think it's funny. Sophie Maddox, an expert on cyber sexual violence, says these apps are becoming more accessible. This issue is happening for everyday people, not just uh, celebrities and folks in the public eye. And while these nude images are fabricated, experts like Carrie Goldberg, who's not involved in the Spain case, but who has represented victims of digital sexual abuse, says the impact on victims is long lasting. They're very compelling and convincing photos so that it really does look like it's a picture of, of the victim nude. It really has the same devastating consequences as if it was an actual photograph that um, that depicted you. The, the harm isn't any different. Children in particular don't have the coping mechanism to realize that, that this could be a solvable problem. Experts say it's important to create a safe space for your child to come forward. It's really important to seek the support of a trusted adult whenever you see or experience something online that makes you feel uncomfortable. And as far as whether or not these deepfake nude apps should even exist, experts agree they're creating much more harm than good, fueling more calls for government regulation of this expanding technology. Emmanuel Saliba, ABC News, New York. As for that case in Spain, police say they found the boys responsible and an investigation is ongoing. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.